Okay, uh, day three of the fellowship, and today I'm thinking sometimes it really is just the small victories that get you through. I'm sure listening intently enough to this, you might be hearing um, what is my printer playing along nicely in the background. And I say small victories because it's taken me a bloody age to get that thing working on a new computer today. Um, it's just kind of ironic because I've got a technology-led uh, research program in my fellowship and I feel like I've just spent the past hour or so in 1995 <laughs> trying to get a printer to work. Um, a joke, but uh, it annoyed me. <laughs> um, wasn't one of my finer moments. But uh, I'm only human and it is the small victories and it's a victory because the thing I'm printing today is, I think I mentioned yesterday, that being the the final uh, submitted version of my fellowship, the one that I'm now looking to revise uh, quite some time after I'd initially submitted it, a lot, even some time after. Um, final interviews and, and having the award, I'm trying to get my head properly in the game, focused on the full story of what I put together for the fellowship. I'll be reading through that entire application package again, not just to get my, my head in the game for the science and to, to figure out, you know, what updates I need to find from the literature and beyond in terms of where the technology I've proposed is now at elsewhere in the world but also to get my focus in place for listing equipment, um, getting updated quotes for equipment, because of course, now being a year and a half on since getting some of those original quotes, there's going to be some differences in price, so I'm going to have to think about exactly what I can still afford, what that means for other parts of my budget. So that's, yeah, that's one thing, equipment. Then of course, Probably the most exciting bit is to figure out what my next move is for starting to hire people to come into the lab. I'm working with some of the great technical staff at the university at the moment to uh, get the lab space that I have in the right sort of shape, but that should come together in relatively quick order such that, yeah, I'm now really quite chuffed to be starting to think about rebuilding my research team, so I'll be looking to hire a PhD student, a software engineer, um, and a couple of postdocs, the last of which will be really the most senior people I've been able to hire into a team, which is brilliant because, you know, as many early career researchers know, the first few years of getting things off the ground, you can feel like you are, in fact, your one only and best postdoc being the most senior member in the lab all the time. But having the ability to hire postdocs into the lab is going to be a partially a weight off my mind to be able to take on some of those more senior roles at the, the front face of the research for days where I've got other duties. <laughs> but I guess the the strange flip side to that is that there's always a chance that... <sighs> You know, at least on paper, you could be hiring someone who's maybe older than I am, um, you know, more experienced, maybe even got more research papers, all those little things that lead back uh, to the thing that I wondered how long it would take me to come to then, and that being imposter syndrome, or as I'm trying to reinvigorate quite correctly the term imposter phenomenon, um, which is more accurate and less scary than imposter syndrome, but yeah, that you know, that notion of hiring people who might be on the face of it more senior than I am is, is certainly one of many things that can bring back those thoughts of imposter experiences and wondering, uh, you know, whether or not I'm cut out for this, whether or not, um, you know, I've got the right qualifications, the right grit, the right ability to persevere and problem solve and not be found out as a complete and utter phony. You know, that's something that will never leave me, but I've certainly got better at managing it in the past few years, such that 
what I said at the top of today's diary remains true. I'm, I'm more excited than I am nervous about hiring people into the lab. I'm looking forward to reflecting on that and telling you more about it in the coming days. But trying to keep these daily diaries relatively concise, I'll leave it there. And I'm going to go back to the silence of this room where the printer has now finished singing its song. And I'm going to read that application once again in full. We'll see you tomorrow. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, head over to the website where not only will you find the written blog versions of these podcasts, you'll find my leadership blog series, the daily thought series and information about my book on managing the imposter phenomenon. We also have even more free resources and webinars linked to the YouTube channel. So head on over to dr-mark-read.com That's dr-mark with a c-r-e-i-d.com Thanks again for listening.